Hi, it's Anthony from okplay.com and in this video we'll be checking out the VR cover carry case for the Meta Quest 2. It's meant to fit the headset and stock glasses spacer attached with touch controllers, charging cable and a power adapter. It can also fit the facial interface, its head strap foam pad and XL spacer for the VR cover facial interface spacer also installed in the headset. So in general, you can fit a lot more accessories onto the Quest 2 and fit it inside this box. Sadly, it won't fit the Elite strap, the Elite strap with battery, the VR cover, controller grips, and the Halo controller protector. So all in all, it's a little bit limited. We've seen the Oculus Quest 2 case and what we could fit in that. I've got big hopes for this case because it's a little bit bigger, a little bit more deeper. So let's first do some comparisons. Right, I can't fit them all in the shot here, but you can see that we've got the VR cover here on the left, and we've got the Oculus official case for the Quest 2 on our right hand side. It's got much more sort of office y like material on the VR cover compared to this brushed wool coating on the official case. It sits a bit higher, obviously, it's squarer, not so rounded, so you'll probably fit a lot more accessories in the corners. We've got a, a rubber plastic VR cover logo on the top here. And looking at the sides, you can see that it's a little bit deeper than the official case. So hopefully we can fit some more accessories in it too. There's a carrying handle strap here. Not sure what's inside yet, but I'm sure this is for a carrying strap. On the back, there's nothing really to report. There's no changes, no logos, nothing else to report there. You've got another buckle on the other side here to attach the strap to. And on the very top, you've got a the zips obviously and you've got a quite a sturdy carry handle as well so you'll be carrying it from the top which is a little bit better i think in my opinion than oculus's sort of pull tag with a heavy quest inside this is going to really get at your hands when you're carrying it whereas this is a little bit more like a suitcase and this is going to support you a lot more a lot better once everything is inside the case. So that's the general comparisons with the official case. Let's now look inside. So unlike the Oculus Quest, the zip is more external. It goes around the majority of the case and it's hinged at one end. So it basically levers up and then here we are inside the case. So inside we've got like a velour plush sort of velvet material so keep everything nice and scratch free. We've got some Velcro tabs here to attach everything. And here's the handle as I expected. These go around the carry loops on the outside of the case. I'll just quickly show you that. So these hook onto the little hooks here. You hold them out like that and then attach it to the top. And you've got a bit of padding here for your shoulder should you wish to need that when you carry it. I'd say the strap is just under a meter when it's all done up to its tightest amount. And you can undo this buckle here to make it even longer should you have a giant back or something. Uh, or maybe you want to put it over your over your head perhaps. Um, but then you would um, attach it like this. But I think you're really not going to be using this strap really. You'll be using the handle. You'll be putting it in a luggage or something or putting it in the car with this handle. I don't think you're going to be walking about town with this on your shoulder. So I'm going to take this off. Inside we've got this uh, velour. Uh, some bungee tabs to keep everything all in check. These are attached, you can't remove them. Some webbing material on the outside just to keep it all nice and secure. On the lid, on the inside of the lid, you've got some compartments. So you can um, stow. This goes all the way along. You've got a separate compartment up here. So you've got like a bag compartment, which is a little bit smaller. So you've got a smaller bag here and you've got this that goes all the way underneath and it always goes underneath here as well. So um, you can probably put a lot, a lot more stuff in here, like a cable, for example, and this smaller pouch can be used for your power adapter. Some extra cables in earbuds, for example, could all be stored in here. So let's see how things go and gets installed so there's no guide there's no paper manual i'm just gonna have to wing it here and just work out exactly where everything is meant to go so the controllers i've got some um wire knuckle straps here that i'm using for my next how-to guide but um that will keep the controllers in check uh, you could probably pass them through the loops if you wanted to but i don't think yeah let's do that I'm going to pass them through underneath. Not quite sure what that's actually going to do, but at least it keeps them from falling out. And then we've got the headset. So obviously we're not going to be able to fit our full 
headset here with the um, Bobo M2 Pro. So I'm gonna have to dismantle this and get it down back to the, the bare minimum. A few moments later. Right, so here we have the Oculus Quest 2 uh, with the default soft strap attached to it. We've got the fitness cover and you've got the foam replacement set on top uh, and we've got the uh, light leakage that's already pre-installed. So that's basically bare bones minus the addition of the VR cover facial interface. And here you have to basically attach it on the inside facing outwards and that fits in there without any problem and then all this gump goes in the center here then you basically latch that over the top just to keep it in place and that's the headset and you've got a very big amount here to potentially so in the space you could actually put a spare capsule battery for example you could even put a uh, larger battery if you have it on your person anchor battery for example fits in there perfectly fine. This is a 10,000 Redux battery pack that would fit in there totally fine. You could also fit in this 20,000 um, milliamp hour battery. I think that would probably fit in there just fine with the case closed. Yeah, no problem. Uh, you could fit multiple batteries if you really, really wanted to. So that's just general batteries that would fit in the case. They did say that you're a, a halo protector wouldn't work so here we have a halo protector on the, our controller rings um, they said it's not compatible and i would i would say it does let's just put the other one on so i've got it on the right controller here as well now so we've got them both in there and they do fit in there pretty fine so i would say vr cover it does work yeah that closes yeah, that closes totally fine. So if you've got Halo protectors, they fit in there totally fine. Let's push that envelope a little bit more and let's see if we can get some grips. All right, so we've got the Pro Kiwi grips here with the battery compartments. And we're gonna see if this actually works. So you can see that the right controller is in there with the knuckle strap facing upwards. We kind of need to do the same with the left controller, but unfortunately we can't because it's facing down. Uh, you wouldn't be able to do it this way because again, you can't do it that way and you can't do it that way. The grip is always gonna be facing down on one side, but saying that, I reckon that works. So fasten that up, close the doors, and that seals up totally fine with those controllers in there. So knuckle straps, I reckon are all right. And I personally think the VR cover controllers grips will actually work as well, but I don't have them anymore, so I can't test that. But they're a little bit more bulky than um, than this, so maybe that's that's right. That maybe they won't work. But uh, the Kiwi grips, if you've got that with the Halo protector, fits in there perfectly. So as far as head straps go, I think we're going to struggle um, unless you can find a head strap that is less less than this amount. The Kiwi one does compact down probably the most I've seen. We can give it a go. All right, we've got the Kiwi strap here. I am pushing the envelope a little bit by, uh, I've got the VR Power 2 still on it. I haven't removed it yet. But we'll just um, see if this actually even goes remotely in the case. So the good thing about the Kiwi is that it, it compacts really, really tightly, but that's as close as I can bring this back piece to the front of the head strap where this head strap has got to go. But like with all cases and the Kiwi strap, this monster of a back piece, which is super comfortable uh, and um, it's really, really nice generally as a head strap, but it gets in the way. So what we can do, we can take this off so we can lose that back part. Uh, it's still attached here, but um, with that in the case, you can see you can get this in, but you can't get this bit in, uh, which is a shame. If you took these controllers out and that then sat down, I don't think we'll take the VR power off just so we've got, we can play around with this a bit better. No, because I think the, the problem with the Kiwi is that this sticks out a lot more than things like the Elite Strap does, for example. So if you've got a head strap where this side rail part is very, very thin, you've probably got more of a chance, but the majority of straps that do this won't have got such a big bulky back bit. It's going to be impossible to fit the Kiwi in to the, into the actual strap itself. But with that said, let's give it a go. 
A few moments later. So the Kiwi is definitely not going to fit in the VR cover case. It's um, far too wide. Uh, you'll probably break the zip if you were to try and get this strapped on. And um, yeah, so it's not made for particularly any head strap, I don't think, other than the default. Nice. Okay, so I've managed to break my Kiwi design uh, a little bit. The parts have uh, snapped off just by twisting it. So if you've got a Kiwi to st strap and you keep t putting it on and off, you shouldn't really need to. I do it more often than most people probably will do, but this is now really, really loose. So be careful when you snap open the, um, the side parts of the strap. All right, so all right, so I think we've come to the conclusion that you can't fit any other head strap other than the default soft strap in this case. So, so VR cover is correct. You can't fit any other head strap in this case. So other than that, if you have like a best swim back piece, that should fit in there without their, without no problems. Just to prove that I've got um, the best swim back piece here that I use on the M2 Pro and that should fit in there. If this was attached to it, that should fit in there without any problems and then we've got the halo controllers as we saw earlier they will fit in there still with grips kiwi grips they will fit in there no problem so we've got the back piece you'd want that if you're only using the default soft strap i really do recommend one of the amvr best win vr um back pieces and over on this side we can just we can add a power brick we can add the power cable uh, the little one that we got with the original Quest. You can shove in some batteries, for example. Let's put in another battery. So that's more than what we would um, have. We might struggle to close this, but let's just put this in for now. And lastly, we've got the VR cover optical cable. We can just shove that underneath everything else. And this will then fill in the bottom bit down below. So we've got a five meter long optical cable in there as well. Let's see if we can close this case up. No, we're not going to be able to do that. So we'll take some of the bits out of the front because I think we went a little bit overboard here. Uh, we'll keep the battery in there. We'll just take some of the... Technically, we can get the adapter that can go in the center and the cables are a lot thinner. Right, so we've got our optical cable, power cable, uh, a battery capsule as well for extra battery. We could technically fit this in here as well. Uh, let's, why not? And then we're going to try and close it. So not putting too much stress on the zip there. That's in there. Um, that's all good. Sealed. We're not over bulking the case here. You can, can't see it's, uh, it's any bulkier than it is when there's nothing in it. And that's a good weight to it, really. But um, that's everything inside the VR cover case. More than what they claim. So that's good. But you definitely cannot get any head strap in this case. It's just the default soft strap. But if you do have the default soft strap and you're rocking a Best Win VR, AMVR, or any other VR head strap pad, then it will definitely fit in this case too. So this carry case from VR Cover retails for $29. I'd say it's pretty good. It's probably not as versatile as the Oculus Quest 2 official case, but it does retail for a little bit more at $49. So it's $20 cheaper, the VR cover case. So I'd only recommend it if you're using the default soft strap. And with a couple of accessories, it still is capable of containing that. But if you do have a head strap for it, then I would look elsewhere, either the Oculus Quest 2 case or other cases such as Bobo VR if you're using a Halo strap. Or if you're using an Elite strap, you can get away with the Quest 2 case, as you've seen in my previous video for the official case. But if you're looking to cut some costs and you're using the default soft strap and you've got a number of accessories, this Quest 2 case from VR Cover is a pretty good buy. So just to recap, we've got the official Quest 2 with the default soft strap, the foam interface replacement set with the fitness VR Cover facial interface. We've got a spare battery, power brick. We've got the best win rear pad, Kiwi Design Pro straps with battery compartment and the Halo covers from VR cover and on this side we've got the VR cover five meter oculus link cable in, inside here and in this pouch we've got the battery capsule for extra battery again and also the power cable that came with the oculus quest 2 as well uh, there is a little bit of room here if you were to not to take this battery and you were to have a, the VR power 2 
I'd say with the cable removed and put inside the, the top side of the case instead, I think the VR Power 2 would fit. Yeah, that fits okay without too much stress on the zip. So you can carry your VR Power 2 as well, um, but you would have to reattach everything once you've got this out. But um, if you're gonna be playing for a couple of hours, that's not gonna be a problem. All right, thanks for watching and I hope you found this video helpful. If it has, please leave us a like down below. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this carry case from VR Cover. You can check out all my other accessory and case reviews up in this top playlist here. Hit the subscribe button down below to catch all my future content. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.